I'm a uh, huge fan of President Bush. I've known him uh, since he owned the Rangers. As a matter of fact, uh, he may not remember this, but I do. Uh, I actually was in one of the very first meetings that he attended um, a as an owner of the Rangers. Um, and uh, uh, it's very exciting for me to have an opportunity to be back here and spend some time with him this evening. Um, with that, I'm happy to take questions before opening day. Um, I should offer a word of explanation about that process. I mean, obviously with Josh, uh, recovering from surgery, um, it is allowed uh, some time, the luxury of some time in the process because there was no need to address the issue quickly um, because he's not going to be on the field either way. Uh, but we are working towards a resolution and I, I, I think it will be done by opening day. Um, what I've said is that um, I'm going to reach out to Mr. Rose and his representatives and, and talk about the process and timetable will follow from uh, the discussions that we have about process. I know from my perspective, um, the Rose matter was one of the few things um, that's still active in the game that I was not involved in uh, when it originally happened. So I do intend to go back um, and review the Dowd report uh, thoroughly. I want to review the agreement that was reached with Commissioner Giamatti. Um, I expect that um, I will talk to Commissioner Vincent, who was involved at that time. And obviously, um, or not obviously, but I would expect, let me say it that way, that Mr. Rose will want to have an opportunity to come in and chat. So we'll, we'll sequence those things um, and develop a timetable once we have a firm agreement on process. Kind of type in P. Rose, the Rangers have the she was Joe Jackson's great, great, you know, descendant on in their farm system. He said, as far as he knew, that case is still open a couple months ago. Is that still an open? Uh, well, well, let's do the facts, okay? It's always good to start with the facts. Um, you know, Shoeless Joe Jackson was actually on the Hall of Fame ballot, I believe, twice. Um, and, and was not elected. Um, having said that, um, anybody on the permanently ineligible list has a right under the Major League Constitution to apply for reinstatement. Um, I have had communications from um, fans about Shoeless Joe Jackson. I don't believe I have any formal request pending. 